boys and girls, it's Monday, and on Monday we get new letters. So, you know who introduces the new letters? <laughs> Mama Echo's here, as always. But before we do the new ones, we've got to review the old ones. So, ready? I want you to do it with me, and when Mama Echo flies in, you will repeat. Ready? Be, bat, buh. C cat k. F fun f. I itch i. M man m. Mm. Doing great. N nut n. O octopus ah. T top t. U up ah. Very good. You didn't see any new ones, huh? Here they come. First, we have another vowel. We need a vowel in every word. A, apple, a. Ah. We got it. See how it's peach? That's how we know it is a vowel. And we will be stretching that vowel, won't we? Let's try the second one. G, game, g. You got it. So let's see. A is the first letter of the alphabet, so I'm going to put that on the front. And G comes right after F. So I'm sticking them all in, and I've got them all ready for us. Now, before we move on, I want to show you our little letters that um, Baby Echo does with us. Now, I always set them up the same way, and these two letters have something different about them, so I can't wait to show you. Take our numbers off, and remember how we do it? I've always left a spot here. So the first row is B, C, and F. And this spot has been saved for letter A. Now, are you noticing what I'm noticing? On the big card, a was made this way, and on the little card, whoops, <laughs> A is made this way. That's because this is the way you will be writing your A's. But they want you to know that when you look at books, you might see it this way sometimes. And we want you to know what that is. But I don't want you to write it this way. So right there, we know that that's the letter. We have A, B, and C. Here's our F. Now, right under the A, oh my goodness, that's another one that looks a little different, isn't it? That's our letter G. Are you noticing the difference? Lowercase g here looks like this. That's the way we are going to write it. In books, you might see it like this sometimes, so they want you to recognize it. I can't write it that way. That's only like computers and things that type out print, okay? But we are going to know that that is a G, okay? We'll put the rest up. I's going to go here. Wow, look at all the letters we have. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> A, apple, a. Ah. B, bat, b. C, cat, k. F, fun, f. Make sure you're saying it. G, game, g. I, itch, i. M, Man, mm. N, nut, n. O, 
octopus R. T top T. U up A. Uh. Very good. Now, moms and dads, there is a paper that we're going to have you look at. The front page, I'd love you for you to read. It gives some great suggestions for how to talk about books with your child. It's very difficult for me to do that long distance, but there's some great ideas there. Also, on the next page, that's just for moms and dads, too. It talks about the words we're going to use for the writing path. So please make sure you use those when you're teaching your letters. And these two pages are for you, so that you have a little space here to practice your A's and your G's. And we're going to give it a try right now. Okay, ready? A is a plain line letter. You're repeating, right? Point to the plane. Um, it starts on the plane line. Point to the plane line. Oops, sorry guys. Point to the plane line. There we go. Go back on the plane line and around to the grass line. Back on the plane line and around to the grass line. Trace back up to the plane line and pull down. A, apple, a. Ah. Let's try it again. A is a plane line letter. It starts on the plane line. Point to the plane line. Go back on the plane line, then down and around to the grass line. Go back on the plane line and down and around to the grass line. Go up to the plane line. Up to the plane line. Trace back to the grass line. Trace back to the grass line. A, apple, A. Ah. Now the cool thing about this is G is very similar. So say G is a plain line letter. It starts on the plain line. Point to the plain line. Trace back on the plain line. Down and around to the grass line. Down and around to the grass line. All the way up to the plain line. All the way up to the plain line. Trace down to the grass line. Trace down to the grass line. And all the way to the worm line. And make a curve. <laughs> All the way to the worm line and make a curve. G game G. One more time. G is a G is a plain line letter. Plain line letter. It starts on the plain line. Point to the plain line. Trace back on the plain line and around to the grass line. Go back up to the plane line, up to the plane line, pull down all the way to the worm line, pull all the way to the worm line, and make a curve, and make a curve. G, game, G. So see, if we had stopped there, they all look the same, don't they? A's and G's start the same, but with the A, you stop. And with the G, you go all the way to the worm line. Oh my goodness, this is our first worm line letter. I think that is very exciting. <laughs> so you have a little tiny, tiny bit of space to practice it on your papers. But you have lots of room to practice sky writing with the papers, right? It starts on the plane line. Go back on the plane line, around to the grass line, up to the plane line, pull down to the worm line and curve. 
you can practice just like that without even a pencil. And then you might have some room to make another one here. Or you could get out your whiteboards and your black markers. Black markers erase the best. That's why I'm always saying black markers. Okay? I'm so excited. We're getting lots of letters. Have fun with that, boys and girls. I can't wait to see how you practiced. And thanks for working with me. See you later.